The Mandela effect strikes again. I also remember it being C-H-I-C filet, not C-H-I-C-K filet. Shout out to this TikTok user for bringing it up because this is so weird. A lot of you guys have been pointing out that the Mandela effect has gotten way more obvious recently. And a lot of you guys have been commenting and a lot of you guys, my clients, have been coming to me saying that you feel exhausted. That you feel a little bit misplaced, that you feel like you're in a dream, that deja vu is constant. Sometimes you see the matrix actually glitching. And that you swear you see something, you blink, and it turns into something else. I too have been experiencing this, it is the strangest thing ever. What I think is happening here is that we are entering like a completely new reality. You can call it quantum jumping, quantum merging, timeline jumping, it doesn't matter. We are just going into a very new reality. The collective consciousness is now being geared towards a reality that I think we co-created together. You will know that you're on this jump, this reality jump, if you have been waking up feeling extremely drained recently, if deja vu is through the roof for you, and your dreams have been eerily hyper-realistic, it feels like you're actually in that reality. But the most important part is that you feel incredibly, incredibly drained. I know I feel incredibly drained. Like I'm eating three meals a day, I'm sleeping as much as I can, yet I feel so tired. Now I just recently posted a video about CERN, what the CERN machine does. And if you're unaware, a lot of scientists are saying that the CERN machine, if run long enough and if successful, can actually become a time machine to send messages back and forth into different timelines. If you were on Conspiracy TikTok back in 2020, 2021, you have likely heard about the movement called Q dot 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 anonymous. I have to say it that way because this video might get taken down. And there's this thing called Project Looking Glass in which this machine, almost like a time machine, can look into the future but is stopped at a certain timeline. They couldn't see past that timeline. We as a humanity have been in what seems like an infinite loop of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. And you have to wonder to yourself, who is messing with this timeline? Why are we not able to ever progress? Who controls what is going on right now? Because the Mandela effect is getting very creepy. If you have been aware of this game called The Matrix for a while, you know exactly who controls the world. There are forces and technologies beyond our imagination. And finally, I feel like in these last couple of years, maybe this last decade, people are finally, finally waking up, waking up to how obscure things are. Spiritual people are no longer going to be in the minority. If anything, unawakened people are going to be in the minority. You either get with the times or you lag behind. But for those of you who are new on the spiritual journey, if you would like to learn more about how we got into the matrix, who these elite truly are, how to escape this matrix, my book Made in God's Image talks about everything you would need to know. We are in unprecedented times right now. It's going to be a very interesting show.